Hey people, today I'm not really in the mood to travel around Beijing and see places. Plus I've been working evening shifts for the past few days and I just felt like sleeping in today. So I had the idea of instead of showing you another place that's worth visiting in Beijing, to rather show you what to do in the evenings in Beijing. I came up with the idea from the fact that there is nothing to do after 4.30 in terms of being a tourist. Uh, most places, uh, sightseeing places, stop selling tickets around 4 or 4.30, so there's not that much to do in the city. That's where my idea came from to show what to do when it's 4.30 already and you finish your touristic sightseeing and you still want to hang around Beijing. I'm thinking to start with, um, there's a very famous street with a lot of food stands there where you can buy fried scorpions, um, all these weird things that you wouldn't normally eat, especially if you're a Westerner. Um, things that you can find here in Beijing. So I went to Pizza Hut for lunch just in case I don't feel like eating anything. And I might try something. I'm pretty scared about it. I don't, I'm a bit disgusted by the idea, but once I'm there, I might be more encouraged to just go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try to bike from the hotel I'm staying in until Wang Fujing Street, which is where the street food is. Part of it is exercise, part of it just fun to bike. It took me 50 minutes to arrive to the Wang Fujing Street. I'm just walking around a bit looking at the shopping malls and the brands, mostly they're international brands, so H&M, Zara, Gap. I'm just taking a look around and I'm headed off to the food street in a tiny little bit. It's crowded as hell. It's mainly shopping street, a lot of international brands, and it seems like a fun place to walk around uh, or to shop if you want to buy anything. I'm gonna try to head off to the food street now. Maybe get some, try something, be adventurous. That was extremely, extremely disgusting. Huh. I have zero appetite right now. And I was a bit hungry when I got here. It looked a bit fake to me, like not the food itself because some of the scorpions were moving and they were alive. Of course, they fry them and then you eat them. They don't eat them fresh, so they're not moving anymore but um, it didn't look 
like something locals would eat it looked more like it's arranged for tourists which it probably is it's in one of the most touristic areas in Beijing but it just was absolutely disgusting I don't know what to say besides that it was just purely disgusting So for something interesting that just happened with me, I saw a box of chopstick where next to the food area, so there was a shopping street, and one of the people saw me looking at the chopsticks, which I thought in, that it would be an interesting gift, and I just asked for how much it would cost in case I want to buy it. It was 230 so I said okay because it didn't sound very expensive, but I wasn't planning on buying, so I just walked away and he kept trying to negotiate and I wasn't in trying to negotiate I was just walking away because I didn't want to buy it right now it went down from 230 to 40 RMB I didn't even try to negotiate I didn't I thought 210 sounded reasonable but well this is another place that people can enjoy in the evenings in Beijing. It's called the Ohai Bar Street, something like that. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, I'm just reading as it's written. And it's very active, it's more, it's less, um, it's less touristic than Wang Fujing, and it's less touristic than, um, or less westernized than San Litun which you've seen in my first video in Beijing and in my last video where I was doing free hugs but this is a more local and more Chinese I would say it has a lake front which is always nice So that's something you can do when you're in Beijing in the evening time. The idea of today is to share with all expats out there, regardless of which city they're in. If you don't know what you, what you can do in the evening, just try to find out what tourists do. Because people here for two or three days, or in any city for two or three days, they're going to want to go out in the evening, they don't want to waste any time. Otherwise, Look for what the locals are doing because locals also want to have fun. They want to hang out and socialize. You might not know the language. You might not know the culture. You might not understand what people are doing or saying, but there's always something to do. You just have to go out and explore and you might see some things that are disgusting. You might see things that are simply wonderful and amazing. You might see some things that are creative and innovative and inspiring even if on a small scale and all I'm trying to say is just go out and have fun and remember make every day count